Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Maths 5th Grade, Module 3, Lesson 4. All right, I'm going to start off by going over the ICAN objective. It says, I can solve a division problem by using a bar model or an equation. The learning objective is to represent a problem with a bar model or an equation and solve a division problem. The prior learning says students found whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors. Students divided using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and the relationship between multiplication and division. Students explained division by using equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. Okay, so jumping into the lesson with Step It Out, number one, it has a word problem that reads, a comic book store sold eight times as many copies of the Team Amazing comic book as it sold of the Astonishing Force comic book. The store sold 549 copies of both comic books. How many copies of each comic book were sold? Okay, so right now it says that Team Amazing had eight times as much as the astonishing force, but it doesn't tell us how much the astonishing force has. And it says that the store, the so the store sold 549 copies. Okay. So now it gives us a bar graph for a use the bar model to represent the situation, label the bars and the total number of copies represented. So we know that team amazing was eight times larger than astonishing force, which means just one block is going to be our astonishing force. So I'm just going to write astonishing. Okay. And then the one with the eight that represents eight times larger, that's going to be the amazing. And then over to the right, all nine of those blocks is going to be worth the 549 total copies. Okay. So for B, it says write an equation to find out the number represented by each box. So if we have nine boxes and we know that all nine boxes are equal to 549 copies. What we need to do is divide those numbers to figure out what one box is worth. So 549 divided by the nine, then find the number. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to solve it over to the right. So 549 divided by nine, nine into 54 is going to be six. So six times nine is 54. That gives me zero. I'm gonna bring down my nine. Nine into nine is just one. All right, so 61. So I know that that problem is equal to 61. Okay, so C, use the number represented by each box. Okay, so we just found out that each box is worth 61. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write 61 next to the astonishing box, just as a reminder. Okay, so the bullet point underneath C says how many copies of Astonishing Force were sold? It's a good thing I made that note. So Astonishing Force had one box and we figured out that one box is equal to 61 copies. So how many copies? 61. Right, the next bullet point is how many copies of Team Amazing were sold and explain. Okay, so we know that Amazing had eight of those boxes and we know that each box is worth 61. So all we need to do is multiply. So we're gonna take our 61 and we're gonna multiply it by those eight boxes to figure out the total. So eight times one is eight and then eight times six is 48. So Team Amazing had 488 copies. And what I want you to do on your own is explain how we got that. Explain it in your own words, but make sure you make it a complete sentence. Okay, we're going to move from page 67 to 68, and we're just going to be doing step it out problem number two. All right, so number two reads, the comic book store also sells collectible toys. The gigantic kid costs four times as much as the Marvelous Marvin. The Hall of Heroes playset costs seven times as much as the Marvelous Marvin. If the three toys cost $1,044, how much does the gigantic kid cost? 
Okay. That was a lot of information. It confused me the first time I read it. So what I'm going to go back and do is I'm going to highlight my numbers, but I have three things going on here instead of our normal two. So I'm going to use some colors. Okay. So the first thing that comes out to me, it says the comic book store also sells collectible toys. So I'm working with three different types of toys here. The first one mentioned is the gigantic kid. So I'm just going to sign that blue. So the gigantic kid, oops, gigantic kid is four times as much as the marvelous Marvin, but it doesn't tell me anything about the marvelous Marvin. So I'm just going to give that red for right now. See if it comes up again. Okay. The hall of heroes play set. So that's another toy. I'm going to give that one green. So hall of heroes play set is seven times as much as the marvelous Marvin. There we go. As the marvelous Marvin, it doesn't tell us much about the marvelous Marvin. It's just like the previous problem. That marvelous Marvin is just going to have one block associated to it because it doesn't give us really anything else to go off of. Okay. So it says if the toys cost $1,044, how much does the gigantic kid cost? Okay. So we have our total cost right here, $1,044, but here's the key. We're looking for how much the gigantic kid costs. Okay. So we, we don't want to know what each block is worth. We want to know how much the gigantic kid costs. Okay. So we are going to have a multi-step problem here. All right. So represent the situation with a bar model. Okay. So I'm going to start out with blue. Here's my gigantic kid. I'm just going to put GK for gigantic kid. So GK said it was four times as much. So I'm just going to give it four blocks. All right. Then I had the marvelous Marvin with not much information. So I'm just going to do one block MM for marvelous Marvin. And then in green was my hall of heroes. I'm just going to do HH and that said it was seven times. So I'm going to give it seven blocks. Okay. And then all of those together was my $1,044. Okay. Now it says write an equation to find the amount represented by each box of the bar model. Okay. Now that we have our problem set up, here's where I want you to jump in and try this on your own. Okay. So I want you to try to find the equation for yourself and then solve it. So I want you to set up the equation, divide over to the side, find your quotient, find your answer of the division problem, and then move down to C and write an equation to find the cost of the gigantic kid. Cause don't forget that's what we're actual, actually looking for. We're not just finding each box um, its value. We're trying to find out how much the gigantic kid costs. Okay, so I want you to do B and C. Go, hit and, go ahead and hit pause here. All right, let's go ahead and solve these problems. So write an equation to find the amount represented by each box of the bar model. So I know if I start out with 1,044, I need to divide it by my total amount of boxes like we did in problem one. So I need to figure out how many boxes do I have? Well, blue had four plus the one red was five and then continue counting. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 total boxes. All right. So I'm going to take those two numbers and divide out to the side. So I have 1,044 divided by 12. So 12 doesn't go into one. It doesn't go into 10, but it does go into 104. You should know your 12 multiplication facts, um, for fifth grade. If you don't, that's okay. Use a resource until you get those down, but you should know that 12 goes into 104 eight times because eight times 12 is 96. All right. So now when I subtract, Four is too small, so I need to borrow, make that a nine and make that a 14. When I subtract, I'm going to get an eight. When I bring down my four, now I have 84, which is also a multiple of 12. So 12 times seven is going to be 84. All right. So each box is worth 
87. And again, we're, we're dealing with money. So each of those boxes is worth $87. So I'm just going to make a note that the marvelous Marvin is worth $87. And if we weren't being careful, that's where a lot of students would stop. I found my answer. I did my division. The answer is 87. But for this specific problem, that's incorrect. We want to keep moving forward because remember, the question is asking, how much does the gigantic kid cost? Thankfully, there's another question to catch that for us and see. Write an equation to find the cost of the gigantic kid. So if I know that each box is worth 87, I'm going to start with my 87. And the gigantic kid up in blue was worth four boxes. I know that I have 87 for each box times four because I have four boxes. So there's my equation. There's my equation. And then how much does it cost? Well, we need to multiply to find out. So 80. Oh, I ran out of room. You know what I'm going to do is go ahead and erase just this problem here, which I don't encourage you to do, but I ran out of room on my image. So 87. times four, when I multiply it together, seven times four is 28. Carry the two. Eight times four is 32 plus two more is 34. So the gigantic kid cost $348. Okay, that's it for today. Um, go ahead and finish out the rest of this lesson. Take your time, slow down, use multiple colors to do whatever you need to do. And I will see you for module four.